quite like that Elvis that I've got down the snake, you see. Quality. Mm. But uh, yeah, here we have uh, Elvis TD21. Always admired them. Always thought they were the most superb car, even in the 1960s and 70s. Obviously, being an awful lot younger, I still admired them then. Bearing in mind that they were always like typical Elvis, regarded as pretty old fashioned, old fellas' cars. But you can't knock the quality, they are extremely good. The beauty of this comes from a very good home. Had some serious money spent on it just lately. Not, not silly money, no corrosion and problems like that and stuff like that. But a couple of thousand quid, electric fan, bits and pieces, brakes been done, odds and sods. The underneath is an absolute picture. You want to see that back axle in that area there. It's absolutely superb. He's got a lovely guy, Tony. Known him for a long time now. Very much admire him. He's got a thing about the underside of cars. He's got to clean the life out of them and paint them and make them look mint, and he does. Uh, just superb. The bit that appeals to me about it, it's not overdone. No, not perfect on the chrome, although bumpers and some chrome's been done. Grill hasn't been done because it doesn't really need it, so it's just a little bit of age on the chrome. Um, but the bit that appealed to me when I walked up to it, I, I knew it would be good because I know him and I know his standard, but I didn't expect it to be as good as this, to be perfectly frank. And then when I walk up to, to a car, especially like this, especially a big old slab-sided old beast, which is basically what it is, most of them, in my experience, are like the rocky road to Dublin. They're like a dog's iron leg, and and they're, they're horrible. They mm -hmm. really are horrible. They're a lovely driving old car, but the majority of the examples that I've seen over the last 25 years have been just so wavery and horrible down the side. Now, I'm not saying this is perfect in every detail, but this is as good as you're gonna get without having one that's been just thoroughly bottomed and bare metaled and gone on from a professional paint job. Uh, which this hasn't had, it's, it's what you see is what you get. Beautiful condition all round, lovely interior. Now the only thing that wants doing to this motor really is you could argue a little bit of colouring up on the trim, ever so minor. Trim itself is in super condition, look, lovely condition all the leather. A little bit of colouring up and the next man will want to put a new set of carpets in. Mm. Um, but I mean I'm being fussy because it's just so lovely and usable and mellowed and not not patina. I don't like this word patina. Patina means tattiness. Um, you know, you hear it all the time with, with dealers. You know, lovely patina. What they mean is tatty. This is not tatty. It's superb. Beautiful car. It sounds awesome. I'm so impressed with it. I only picked it up yesterday and I was just, like I say, I can't speak highly enough of it. I was just so highly delighted when I pulled up and saw this car sat there. This is one for me. This is, I'll buy this car, no question. This is my car, one of my type cars. Beautiful to use. Um, anyway, it's here now, it's a golden opportunity. I'll tell you now, out there, the car's worth 25,000 quid all day long. There's no question about that. You'll see plenty that you'll, you'll advertise and you're gonna be so disappointed when you get there and they're advertised at 20 grand. You'll be gutted when you get there. You will not be gutted when you come and see this at 25,000 quid cracking car, keeping car. Don't forget, I keep telling people, they can't seem to take it in. There's buying and selling cars and there's keeping cars. This is a keeping car, it's as simple as that. Love it to bits.